All right. Thanks, Todd. Um, that was an exciting uh, talk. Excellent insights into and giving perspectives as to really what global talent leveraging global talent is, um, and truly honest about how exactly things work on the floor. And we face many of us here uh, in coming from the IT services world face it day in and day out. Um, so uh, I'm here to talk about a little bit about what this conference is all about and how are we going to spend our day today. Uh, but before that, uh, quick check: how many of you? are coming in from yesterday. Who were all here yesterday? Awesome. OK, great. All right. So initially, when I started, there was room was not full. Now I can see that room. That is really, really encouraging. All right. So we've got a full capacity today. Uh, and looking forward to the cracker of a conference uh, all through the day. A um, little bit about the conference. This, uh, as you all have seen already, this is one of Asia's premier conferences that we've been having. We've been running it for years now. And uh, I'm really, really proud of the fact that the kind of audience we are getting and also the kind of quality speakers that we are getting has made it at this kind of a big stage. That's really awesome. Uh, we are on day two of the conference. We started off yesterday uh, with great talk from Martin Fowler. Uh, we started today with uh, Todd Little. There is two more days to go with the conference and also lots of parallel workshops going on. Um, and looking forward to you know, interacting with you all through the day, uh, to, uh, today and uh, in the next two to three days. So before we go ahead, I want your help. Little help, we'll do a small activity. We are, after all, in working in a global uh, kind of an economy, global world today, and lots of distributed teams. Uh, I'd like your participation in this. Let's self-organize into cross-functional teams quickly cross-functional teams quickly, small activity. It's a Chinese whisper activity. Uh, really try to get to understand what offshore distributed agile is all about and the kind of challenges that we have. Maybe it will set the tone for the rest of the day for us. Uh, Self-organized into cross-functional team, maybe about eight to 10 members in a team having all kinds of roles. Uh, and also this is an opportunity to interact with people, get to know because one of the objectives of coming to a conference is to learn, share, make new acquaintances and network. And this, I think, is an excellent opportunity to find new acquaintances. I really encourage you all to move out of your own company or your own organization teams that you are with. Try to mingle around with the rest of them. Try to understand, you know, get to acquaintance from others as well. Right? Let me know when you are ready with a self-organized team. Uh, then we will start the next step. All right? Try and find new acquaintance as much as possible. As many new friends you can get today, that will be great. I presume everybody is organized now. We have several teams. I can see many people saying you can actually sit down. There's no necessity of standing up as such. But whatever, whatever is comfortable for you. Uh, how many of you are product owners, our business analyst, or usability expert? In each of the teams, I want you all to raise your hands. Yeah. Okay. Every team, I presume, has either a product owner or a business analyst or somebody who can give this requirement. Right? At least one person. If you don't have, then you are not a cross-functional team. This agile team is going to break here. All right? OK. I presume at least you have found one person like that. You have one on your team. OK. Now, whoever is a product owner or playing in that role as a, as a business analyst or a product owner, think about a problem. 
you got to whisper into the ears of your next person either on your left or the right and you can choose whichever anti clockwise or clockwise the idea is have you have you communicated effectively enough so that it can go to the last member of your team and you hear back exactly the same thing uh, right so that's this exercise uh, let's let's be honest about it and see let's have fun all right you have one more minute i expect the the whole circle to be completed in about a minute and then we'll see the results all right start this should be a whisper i am hearing a lot of noise there should be absolutely no noise I'm able to hear some of your problems. I should not be. <laughs> oh, thanks, please. How many did not get it right? Wow. Okay, fifty percent. Cool. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks for the participation. I guess this kind of in a very simplistic way sets the tone as to what offshore distributed agile is. Requirements what what is communicated really doesn't get communicated. Right? So at least we have challenges. We understand that there's a challenge. We work through it. Um, I guess that's the that's the intent of this whole theme and especially in an agile kind of a context. What is it that we want to learn and hear and how is it that we going to implement offshore distributed agile? Right? So that's going to be day's proceedings. Before I go for further on this, thank you, thank you very much. All right. Key information, yeah, the Twitter uh, Twitter handle is up there, and Airtel has been kind sponsors for us on the Wi-Fi. So this is the uh, password that you need, essential information. All right. Somebody who is coming in new today would want to have this. Uh, people who have come yesterday, it remains the same. Okay. We've got a great number of speakers. A lot of speakers are publishers of books, authors. Many of the authors are uh, there with us. We've been really privileged, and you know, it's uh, such a good experience for us getting all these people on board here. Um, we've got an exciting day ahead. You should have seen a PDF leaflet uh, in your um, uh, pack. If somebody has not got it, please contact one of us from the program team. We'll be happy to share a copy with you. Uh, this has all the details as to how, where the rooms are located. Just to give you information, this is the ballroom. This is the main room uh, where the uh, one of the uh, rooms for the talks. There's one room within this uh, area here, and there's a room upstairs, two floors uh, above. And the workshops happen in a workshop in the in the second level, right? Okay, law of two feet. Yes, this is something which is very, very important. Uh, we've tried to do the best and get the best of the speakers and talk, but maybe it's not resonating to you. Uh, it's perfectly fine. We definitely encourage people to carry themselves forward as if they are not finding any value in what they are receiving or they are not able to contribute value to any discussions that are happening. Uh, please be a bumblebee, uh, uh, float around, see what, what value you can get out of it because end of the day, we do not want to hear one thing that we could not get enough of from this conference. It's all that you have to get value. We've tried to do the best and rest we will leave it to you. Please move on. Nobody will be offended. No speaker will be offended if you have to move. The only uh, 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 suggestion or request is please don't disturb the room where you are in when you have to move out. Be silent about and move out uh, on that. Uh, we've got workshops going. There are still a uh, lot of slots open. Some of a few slots open. If you are interested, please go and sign up. Uh, Lisa Atkins uh, program is uh, still available. We kicked off this whole Agile India 2014 with a webinar series, six webinars which we did uh, as a prelude to the overall conference. It's been exciting resources. I mean, lots of information carried out in this. You can go back onto YouTube and look it up whenever you want. By the way, how many of you got a chance to see these videos? Either live or after? Show of hands, please. All right. So, 
any reason why you could not uh, see it live or any time later quickly? Sorry? Sorry? Opportunity. Okay. So, it's still there. The opportunity still exists. You can still go back and view them. Lots of, lots of great material there. Okay. Uh, something unique about the conference is we are trying to build a whole agile art as a thing for the first time uh, this time. In fact, people who have walked in today have, must have already observed as you walked in, there's a wall with certain things posted on it already and there is some artwork written. That was the exercise that we did yesterday and it continues to tomorrow and after as well. Uh, assuming it will go, it's probably going to turn out to be a fantastic canvas at the end of the day, which you can take pieces of in this agile artwork. This is one of a kind that we are, it is happening uh, at this stage, uh, throughout the goal nobody has tried it, we have done it for the first time, could be exciting. So many, so many of you are artists here and I think as per uh, yesterday's communication, I think anybody can hold a pen is an artist, so I think you can still go ahead and be an artist. Um, we are also doing book signing, uh, there's a book stall and if you have got any of the books from some of our, these uh, authors or speakers who are here, please feel free to get your, uh, bring with your, bring out your books and get it autographed or you can buy books here and get it autographed too, right? There's one other unique thing, new thing that we have done, first of our kind, uh, the Agile Job Fair, it's on Sunday, it's free for people applying for jobs, there's a lot of opportunities here. Uh, feel free to come in on Sunday uh, and explore. Okay. We could not have done this conference any better without this venue. Uh, thanks to the staff, the ground pig, uh, the housekeeping staff who have been very good host to us. Yesterday was fantastic. Uh, we've got a great ambience and thanks for them for the support. And to pull this off, I mean, from the participant list, we've got representations from 28 countries, 320 different roles, 205 uh, organizations. Uh, yes, gender is something after uh, watching, after being say, sitting through uh, Ray Abelia's um, keynote last evening, it kind of resonated. Yes, we are still not there upon the mark. We are still not even there. Um, we are still one third in terms of that, but hopefully it is going to change as we go forward. Next year, we could probably bring in lots of more diversity into it. Uh, I think we will definitely make an honest attempt about that. Right. Uh, our sponsors, without whom we could not have pulled it off at all. Uh, their generous contributions has helped. Uh, all of these conference, all of these sponsors have been have helped us tremendously. And the program team. Uh, only anybody in the audience here, program from the program team, can you please stand up? Lots of different names. Please stand up from the program team. Big round of applause. Yes. One thing is, uh, I must really appreciate the you know the level of dedication and the support that we got from this uh, team because all of us here, this is a part-time work. We are working for the community. Everybody is doing this as a second job. In fact, the whole of this conference proceeding started last July, and we've been doing it all along as a second job. Uh, lots of effort, lots of coordination. In fact. Um, on this, we were, I don't think we were more than two people in any single given place. We were totally distributed when we did this entire thing. Uh, so that added to the R complexity as well, but somehow we pulled it off. Thanks again. And this is information that we have, you can collect it. Uh, that's about all I had to say. So feel free, if, and one more uh, thing, yesterday what came out was we don't collect feedbacks in this uh, conference. The reason is we may not be able to give a direct impact or act upon that feedback, uh, taking it to the next conference and things like that, that we can certainly take, we appreciate that. But what is more valuable is, can we make an impact to you and make your presence here much better during the day? So uh, we would certainly request you to come back, talk to any of us, the program team members are all over. Uh, we would like to have a face-to-face -face conversation. If you have any problem, any issues, Please let, it, let us know, we will try to solve it for you so that your experience is great today. Uh, anything that we want to carry forward, yes, we'd certainly like to hear, but not in the form as a form as such, but we certainly like to hear feedbacks, you can talk to us. Uh, but more importantly, if there is an issue, we would want to solve it for you today so that your experience is great. All right? All right, so any questions, we should be good. Tea and coffee is served here, and I think it's also there all through the day uh, in the respective uh, rooms wherever the sessions are happening, 
you could go and choose your uh, sessions and go to the, those locations as well if the queues are big. All right. Have a wonderful day and great learning experience. Thank you all.